Greetings from San Francisco. Lauren Sutherland with Zone 5 here at Moscone Center, home of the 2012 Semicon and Intersolar Trade Shows and Conference. Uh, this is day two. Uh, it's been very upbeat so far. Uh, as one who has been to both of these shows for a number of years, I can tell you attendance is very encouraging this year, just based on the lack of parking around the uh, convention center. Traffic on the floor of the different halls looks up from the past years, and that is very encouraging. Some of the uh, driving issues this year, of course, are solar, uh, very high profile. The outlook is uh, very interesting. Uh, solar has been in the headlines uh, on the, almost all trade organizations or trade publications over the past couple of years, and it looks like it's going to be a driving issue for the next two. On the semiconductor side, uh, a lot of buzz around Intel's investment in ASML up to four billion. Uh, but one of the key issues of interest to most of us who hail back to Albany is the proposed transition to 450 millimeter wafers, uh, an uh, investment that has been estimated by uh, the various uh, trade organizations of 25 to 40 billion dollars. As we speak, there is a facility being constructed on the campus of CNSE in Albany, uh, funded mainly by the five big chip makers, Intel, Samsung, TSMC, Global Foundries, as well as a number of the OEMs like Applied Materials, Tokyo Electron, MAM Research. Um, progress is almost complete on construction, yet at the same time a controversy has arisen based on a announcement on Monday by the Flemish government who has committed to backing a similar consortia based in IMEC in uh, Belgium. The question is, are the five chip makers and the key OEMs, are they capable of affording to support two consortia concurrently? Uh, we have talked to a number of key industry uh, executives over the last two days during the show and during the required receptions each evening. Uh, we do have to re relax, you know. Uh, the consensus is no, the industry cannot support both. So hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have more answers for you uh, and we'll bring you up to date on any of the other news that comes about.